Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Bianca Saeed, your motherhood empowerment coach. So today I wanted to do an update on where I am in the sort of schooling journey for my kid, um, kids really. So I'm at a place right now where I'm in limbo. Um, if you have been following along with me, I went from um, deciding to stay home with my children, to be there for my children, primary caretaker of my children, um, to a homeschooling mom, to a co-op mom, to a private school mom, to a, back to a homeschooling mom, and then um, a half-day kindergarten mom. Um, and now I'm back to square one. So I wanted to give you all an update. If you haven't watched those videos about um, why I decided to stop homeschooling, um, and then why I um, recommitted to finding a creative alternative to both public and private schools, conventional schooling, right? But not giving up on the idea of having a community and resources for me and my kids. Um, you can watch these videos uh, in the description. Um, and then also at the end of this video, it'll uh, show you a playlist that you can watch. Um, and follow me all along my journey. We went from, um, a, like I said, stay-at-home mom to like um, some play-based preschool type stuff. And then we did, um, and then we started homeschooling when my daughter turned five. Five is so young. Um, and then uh, we did a co-op and then we did a full-time school, but that was like a different, like an alternative kind of philosophy school. It was a private school. <clears throat> And then we went from that to back to homeschooling, back to square one. And then we went to a half day program, just like in the interim because I had nothing else. Okay. And now that my daughter has graduated kindergarten, graduated kindergarten, um, she is uh, moving on to the next phase. And I'm trying to figure out how we can make our values align with what's available to us and the location we're in. Um, this is crazy. Uh, I cannot believe that what moms actually need is just truly not available most of the time in most places. Um, it is frustrating. It is, it can be discouraging, although I'll never give up. Um, and it's really, um, I find myself disillusioned sometimes because it's so, um, unbelievable that I'm having to go to these lengths in order to simply find a community for my family. Um, so I'll give you just a little a brief snippet of why I decided to stop homeschooling. So it, we got to a point where it was like, okay, um, either you have some help with the kids and you send them away and you don't know what's going on, right? Or you have them home with you and it's a 24 seven thing and you're never, there's never space between you guys. There's never any kind of help. There's nothing. Right. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to accept this. Like this is not, there should be something else more in the middle. Right. Like what I'm actually looking for is uh, three to maybe four days on the times that I need it um, of like not a full work day worth of hours. Right. For my kid to go to. <clears throat> and, um, and for myself, I would like it to be nature-based, play-based, as least amount of rules and 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 um, uh, policies and stuff as as possible, right? So like, de-schooling and unschooling is is my style. I think that the natural world has so much more to teach than anything that man comes up with and their regimented curriculum and sit down and shut up and do what you're told and blah blah. blah. So. Um, we, we like to do some like Waldorfy type stuff, but mostly like outside, mostly just like free flowing natural course, right? So that's what I'm looking for. And we're currently on the wait list for a program, which we will move to accommodate. We will pick up and move to the place where this program is if my daughter can make it off the wait list and onto the class schedule, because it's perfect. They have like this monotheistic view, um, and it's all like um, respecting God's design, which is biology and, and nature. Um, and it's mostly outside and it's smaller classes. And, um, 
you know, they respect natural immunity. And so it's just perfect. And this would be under the homeschool exemption that uh, we would be moving states. So that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm praying for. That's what I'm having faith that will open to me if um, uh, it's meant to be, right? Um, but in the meantime, it's like, oh, well, if we don't get in there, that I'm faced once again with the prospect of like doing every single thing myself, which is so not healthy. And being, being with your children 24 seven, like people don't get it as a stay at home mother. It's a big job. It's a huge job. It's a very important job. It's a very intense job. And so to think of like, every year, every day, every week, every month, whatever, all the time, 24 seven, being the person responsible for everything for a child to include teaching is insane. It's insane. Nobody can do it all. No one person can do it all. It's not healthy. I don't even want to do it all. I'm, I'm a big believer in like, I have my gifts and what I'm good at. And that's what I contribute and I make my best effort. But there's meant to be other people in my kids' lives filling in the gaps and um, being there for them in ways that I can't, showing up for them in energies that I can't sustain. Um, following, you know, a basic structure, like it used to be normal, right? Like it used to be the structure was like the village, right? Like the community where you had this um, community of people and everyone had their place and their roles, right? And the way that kids were dealt with was like, yeah, we set things up in society for them, but the parent is not always the person that's just like constantly in charge of them. There's no one person that's just constantly 24 seven, like uh, in charge of them. There's other people that contribute. There's other people that add to um, their experience. So this used to be the case. This used to be what was normal. Um, but these days it's the most, it's the furthest from typical that you will find. And you actually have to go to like communes and different like private communities and stuff to even see it happening. Or, you know, probably like leave in the comments, there's probably some like older fashioned um, uh, communities and like neighborhoods and stuff like that, that still do this, that, you know, I'm not aware of. But um, it shouldn't be so hard to find something that's so, that should be normal. Like it should be normal for moms to prioritize their children. It should be normal for moms to not do every single thing by themselves. It should be normal for kids to be able to be around kids most of the time without it being such a stringent effort on the part of their family. So um, that's what we're currently um, facing right now. And I'm honestly like, I'm not willing to give up on my values. Like we'll talk about this, why <clears throat> private schools won't work either because they're just like, they're, they're the same as public schools. Like they have the same amount of days, same amount of hours, same amount of standards, same like, um, uh, like the testing scores and stuff they have to, um, uh, strive for and then like the amount of hours that the kids need to be in seats and stuff it's all the same it's just like a little bit different philosophy like they might do a different kind of circle time or something it's not different it's all pretty much the same and so I am definitely not willing to sacrifice my values it's not normal for children to be in classrooms that long it's not normal for kids to be away from home that long and and so you know unless I find something that's comparable to the program that I talked about in the beginning I will just be homeschooling with like mixing and matching things that are like not long term and you know it's like piecemealing like stuff together because <clears throat> yes at one point in time like trying out a half day kindergarten where I really needed help and I had a new baby that I needed to bond with that worked but there was a lot of like cons to that 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 we wouldn't like choose that again. You know what I'm saying? And my, my other child is, my second child is older now. So it's a lot more manageable and I can also find things for him. Um, there's like co-working opportunities that have like child play areas that I can structure our lives around. Um, he's at the age now where he's getting close to where he can go to the same play-based um, preschool that my daughter did. So we're looking at all of our options, but I just want to drive home the point that like, 
your values in the sense of like not forcing your kid to go to a full work day's worth of school and be away from home for that long, especially at such a young age, not be able to play all day when they're before the age of seven um, and not be outside. Like you don't have to sacrifice all those values, whether it comes with like you have to wait a little longer, you have to be on a wait list, you have to move to accommodate it. There's always a way and everybody has their different circumstances where like we, I have different opportunities than the next girl, right? Like we have different lives and stuff like that, but there's always a way. Like you have to decide what your values on and there is always a way. There's always going to be a way for you to live out your values. Um, you, you might need to sacrifice in different areas or whatever, but like decide what's important to you and then try to get like really creative and finding like alternatives to what ever like the default typical options are because it's not it it's not where it's at the, the default typical options is bullshit like it, it's basically just like training a little workforce public schools private schools that's all they're doing and if you want to opt for a slower more natural like god-centered um you know nature filled uh experience filled and not like constantly chasing money and merits and stuff if you want that kind of lifestyle you're gonna have to opt out of the um default typical options that are available to you and the more women that do this the more families that do this the more demand there is the greater the supply will be the supply will meet the demand um but it's people like us that have to stand up and be like yeah no i'm not i'm not going to do that private montessori school it's that's pre pretty much the same as like a regular like a private catholic school or like a, a public school it, it, it's the same okay with there's little tweaks right um so anyways that's where we're at in the journey right now and i will keep you updated but we are hoping praying wishing all the all of our vibes are going towards um and our thoughts are going towards uh getting into that program um and even so like it's not in an area that i would love to live in but it's worth it um, and I'll have to figure out something for my son too, but I just want to share my perspective with you. Um, I hope that gives you some kind of like perspective or like clarity about something, um, or about wherever you are on your kid's school journey. Um, drop some comments below to, to tell me where you are on that journey, um, of finding the perfect thing that works for your kids, where you're at right now. The choice that you make now doesn't have to be the choice you make next year. You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, so let me know where you're at and until next time, I'll keep you updated.